The best way to practice is by dueling. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. <laughs> Points to Slytherin. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest! You should have worked it out on your own. You have nerve! Especially since I'm the one who told you about it in the first place! Imagine solving a riddle that I mentioned and then not telling me the answer! Incendium. Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? Yes. Find his keepers, I'm afraid. I knew it! You're just as bad as everyone else! I hate this school! You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells! I need some help! Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was! Only just escaped with my life! I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? You should be able to take care of yourself. I'm not giving you anything. How cruel! Calling me a liar! I don't need the help of someone so rude! Better hope the wolves don't get you. You won't receive a drop of help from the likes of me! Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did find it. However, I've taken a liking to it, so I'm going to keep it. What? But you can't. It doesn't belong to you. Find us keepers, Grace. I can't believe this. 
Father's stupid oath just cost us a priceless family artefact. I hope your new astrolabe brings you nothing but sorrow. If you can even work out how to use it. I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. I shouldn't worry about it. It's only a Niffler. He may be only a Niffler to some, but to me, he's a very special boy. Lovely company. I've had him for years. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. Miss Coffey, I found your Niffler. Oh, goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet Rococo? May I have him back? Actually, he's taken a liking to me, so I've decided to keep him. What? He's mine? Oh, I should have faced my fears and gone after him myself. Perhaps you should have. I... I, I can't believe I let this happen. Just take care of him. He'll never love anyone else. Never. May you never have a moment's peace with him. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Surely you're joking. You can't possibly be afraid of a puff scheme. It may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat bogeys, you know. I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the hidden herbology corridor. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Now that I think about it, Puffskeen Dunkeen, I think I shall keep this. You need to overcome your cowardice. You can't be serious. <gasps> this is awful. I don't know what to do now. I'm doing you a favor. Disappointment like this will encourage you to become a stronger person. I don't need to be stronger. I need to be left alone. Even Zenobia Noak will make fun of me now. You've wasted my time. You're not who I thought you were. I should never have trusted you. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. All oh, the vicious brutes. But I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I think Biscuit will be safer with me, Garnef. What? No. You can't take my Biscuit from me. What will I do without her? 
Biscuit is clearly not safe with you, and I know how to protect her. Perhaps Ramrock was right about wizard kind, always thinking yourself superior to others. May I never be so unfortunate as to cross paths with you again. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. Accio. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Any luck finding my diary and the rest of my books? Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. Should never have trusted them. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you! The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news. I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. I quite like the idea of an authentic Mermish artifact. I'm tempted to keep it myself. What? Why would you do that? That gift was a gesture of goodwill, a symbol of hope. I was going to show it to the Ministry. If you really wanted this, then perhaps you should have fetched it yourself. I would, if I knew how to swim. I just hope you haven't set relations between wizard kind and mer people back decades. That's it. I shall definitely need to learn how to swim. Akio. Also. Somebody help! I've been kidnapped! Sir, are you alright? You seem to be in some distress. Alright? Do I look alright? I've been kidnapped! It's my other frame! It's been stolen! I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? Marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Calm down. I'm here now. Calm down. Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me. Me! Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. What if I don't want to return you to the three broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? I could just burn you and be done with it. I'd like to see you try. Incendio. Are you... 
Are you burning me? Oh. <laughs> 